All right, so in today's video, we are gonna be breaking down the full Extreme Z Awakening details for the Fizz Tournament of Power Android 17. Uh, this was a unit that I absolutely loved to run back in the day, and I was really sad when he kind of became irrelevant. So hopefully, they did him justice and gave him a good easy A. So yeah, with that said, let's jump right into it. We'll start with the free easy A details for comparison purposes. So without the Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Androids, category key plus 3, HP and attack plus 170%, and defense plus 130%. Or Super Fizz type key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. Super attack, immense damage, and lowers attack and defense. And passive is attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. All allies, key plus 3, and defense plus 60%. And then reduces damage received by 40% when uh, HP is 77% or below. So obviously, um, aside from the support here, he's not really getting any other defense on his passive, which was a huge issue. He does get the 40% damage reduction when below 77% HP, which was nice, but without any additional defense, it still didn't really hold up, at least in today's meta, right? So now with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new leader skill is Androids Category Key Plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% or super fizz types key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 120% super attack raises defense for one turn causes immense damage and greatly lowers attack and defense I would have liked for him to greatly raise defense on a super attack but you know raising defense is still good to have nonetheless and then passive is attack and defense plus 120% plus an additional attack plus 120% when performing a super attack plus an additional defense plus 17% with each attack received up to 50%. All allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 60% and then reduces damage received by 17% reduces damage received by an additional 40% and all allies defense plus 17% when HP is 77% or below. So uh, there is a lot to like about this passive right here. So first things first, he is getting, you know, that 120% defense, which is great. He's getting the 120% additional attack when performing a super attack, which means that he's going to be hitting pretty, pretty hard. I don't think like super hard, but quite hard. And then he's getting this additional 17% defense with each attack received up to 50% and each boost here is going to be calculated separately. So he's actually going to be getting a substantial boost with every attack received. And then he's still providing this incredible defense and key support. But on top of that, when you're below 17 or sorry, when you're below 77% uh, HP, he's actually providing key plus three and defense plus 77% for support for the entire rotation, which is crazy. He's actually making your rotation uh, way, way more tanky, right? With the 77% additional defense. And uh, on top of that, he's also getting this uh, additional 17% damage reduction, which he didn't have before. So when below 77% HP, he's actually getting 57% damage reduction, which is a lot. That is a lot of damage reduction. If you factor in his additional defense here and the raising of defense for one turn, um, he should be very tanky, like very, very defensively sound when below 77% HP. Now at, you know, 78% HP or above, uh, he's not gonna be, the most reliable defender, that's for sure, and especially in the beginning of events, like early on, before he's had a chance to, you know, take these hits and build up that defense. Uh, for the first like one or two appearances, he might actually be kind of dangerous to uh, allow. Wait, hold on. It might be dangerous to let him take hits, right? Because he hasn't built up that defense yet. So, you know, that is a bit of a concern, I would say. Um, Outside of that though, there's not much else to nitpick. I think it is a very good Extreme Z Awakening. I don't think it's like a top, top tier EZA, but it's definitely an above average EZA, which 
these days, I feel like it's all you can really ask for, right? So, uh, yeah, good EZA all around. Good EZA all around. Um, yeah, he's probably like a slot 3 unit. Uh, in most cases, I would definitely float him as a supporter as opposed to running him in like a main rotation. Of course, it depends on your team, depends on which units you have, but on like a optimal, I guess, Android team or optimal uh, tournament of power team or something like that, uh, I would definitely, yeah, I would definitely float him as a supporter and, uh, you know, have him provide that 60 to 77% defense. Uh, support every couple of turns right so um yeah for what he's supposed to do which is just be an amazing support with some nice tanking capabilities i think he does that very well i just wish that this hp restriction was a little bit higher like if they increased it to like 85 percent or something like that it would be much better but of course uh they want to keep the sevens because it's android 17 right so it makes sense it makes sense and yeah, that's basically all there is to say, guys. Um, once again, I think it is a really good Extreme Z Awakening. I think it's an above average Extreme Z Awakening. I don't think it's top tier. I don't think it's one of the best we've seen, but it's definitely good enough for now. So there it is, guys. The Android 17 Extreme Z Awakening. The last thing I'll mention is a quick look at the stats. So HP uh, after Extreme Z Awakening at rainbow status, 18,920, uh, 19,485 attack, and 12,998 defense. So almost 13, basically 13k defense, which is substantial. So uh, yeah, he should be quite good defensively, especially with the damage reduction. Um, so yeah, yeah, great EZA guys. I like it. I like it. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about it. And uh, we should also be getting the LR First Form Cell Extreme Z Awakening details in a little bit, but I don't think it's available at the moment. So right now we just have the Android 17, and I'll provide you guys with the cell details as well once we get those. But for now, that's it guys. That is the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.